Triangles in triangles and quadrilaterals. All angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. There are three types of triangles. An equilateral triangle, which has all its sides the same and all its angles the same. We know this because it has these lines on its sides, meaning they are the same size. They, um, because they are all the same size, they must add up to. They must all each be sixty degrees, because um, sixty times three equals one hundred and eighty, and all uh, angles in a triangle add up to one hundred and eighty. An isosceles triangle only has two sides the same length, and because of this, it only has two angles the same length. These two lines again show us that these two sides are the same length. This is a scalene triangle. Scalene triangles have different lengths of sides and different sized angles. Mm. On a scalene triangle, all the angles are different. We know this triangle is, a, is an isosceles triangle because it has these two dashes. This means that angle A must equal 69 degrees. Remember to always put the degree sign after an angle measurement. Now to work out B, we must take take um, 180 and take away the two angles. This is because all angles in a triangle add up to 180. Now we, um, 69 add 69 equals 138. Now we we now from this we can figure out that B equals forty two degrees. This is an equilateral triangle. This tells us these dashes tell us that it, this it, these dashes tell us that this is an equilateral triangle. F is sixty degrees because all angles in an equilateral, uh, equilateral triangle are the same size. Now we can figure out G because. Um, they are both on a straight line, meaning they both add up to 180 degrees. We can figure G out by taking F away from G, meaning take away take away 60 from 180. 180 take away 160 equals 120 degrees. This is an isosceles triangle. We can tell this by the dashes. The, this angle is a square right angle triangle meaning it is 90 degrees we we know from this that H is 45 degrees and because this is an isosceles triangle um, the other angle must also e equal 45 we know what angle I is because it is opposite 58 degrees the angle which is 58 degrees so it is 58 degrees we can figure out J by taking what, uh, 58 away from 180 because this is an we this method works, works because this triangle is a isosceles triangle and then we divide this by 2 which equals 61 degrees meaning J equals 61 degrees. This is a quadrilateral section. As we can see from this diagram, quadrilaterals have four angles. If you c if you tear the quadrilateral into four pieces and put the angles together, you can see it makes a full circle, meaning it is 360 degrees. The method to find out that quadrilaterals have 360 degrees is by drawing a line through it. As we can see these are two triangles meaning each one has 180 degrees in it. If you add them together you, you get 360 degrees. In a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. Um, we can figure out A by taking 76, 83 and 98 away from 360. This leaves us with a total of 257.
as we know, the all the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So we can figure out F by taking 58 um, 90 and another 90 away from 360 degrees. Mm, okay, this is the same as 360 minus 238. Now if we do this calculation, we get a total of 122 degrees. As we can see, G is an opposite angle and that means it is 66 degrees. Now that we know that, we can now figure out H by taking away 48 degrees, or 112 degrees, and 66 degrees from 360. This, is all, this can also be known as 360 take away 226 degrees. And from doing this calculation, we can figure out that it is 134 degrees. I is on a straight line, meaning that to I is on a straight line, and so we can figure it out by taking 143 away from 180. This equals 37. Now to figure out J, we must take away 147 degrees, 90 degrees, and 37 degrees from 360 degrees. This can, um, this can be shortened to 360 take away 274. From, by doing this calculation, we can figure out that J equals 86 degrees.